It's about time for us to get started back this afternoon. Thanks everyone for being out with us. Uh, let's continue to keep those uh, on our sick list in our prayers. Um, Misty McCord's mom, uh, Tracy Angel, uh, Lisa Rogers, Irvin Jones, uh, Mary Martin, and Brenda Bivens. Um, let's also continue to pray for all those in our bulletin and all those uh, who are going to be uh, traveling around this uh, holiday season. Uh, announcements, uh, next Sunday after the morning service will be our uh, fellowship meal. Uh, parents' night out will be uh, December 6th from uh, 5 to 8. Uh, December 13th will be the holiday dinner, if you're interested in that. There's a uh, sign-up sheet uh, here in the front. Uh, let's continue to remember our uh, blessing box. If you'd like to help with that, uh, we're accepting donations, uh, especially right now warm items, hats, uh, coats, gloves, things of that nature, as well as uh, canned food items. If you have any questions on that, please see uh, Jim or Brenda. Yes, sir. Yes, if you'd, if you'd like to bring donations but the box is full, please set any extra items in the table that's in the uh, corner of the fellowship hall. We use that table to restock the blessing box as items get used. Um, also, uh, food bags. We have uh, many food bags left over from our giveaway day. If anybody knows of anyone who could use a food bag, uh, feel free to get one. I've set some out on the table in here. Also, the chickens that go with those are in the freezer in the kitchen, so if you know of somebody, friend, family member, neighbor, whomever that could use that, feel free to uh, grab one on your way out today. If, if we use all of those, I've got more. So, I believe that's all the announcements. Uh, this afternoon will be our singing service. Stephen will be uh, presiding over that. Um, I will take care of the opening prayer. Uh, Rick will take care of the Lord's Supper if needed, and Alvin has the closing prayer. Thank you. As we begin, we're going to sing 194 and 195 back to back. They're, they're very short songs, but at some point, hopefully in the near future, we've sang these before. Uh, we'll incorporate these into the worship service as well. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, number 22, number 22. <clears throat> there is the army at the
545. Number 545. <coughs> mm, the music. How wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord. A wonderful Savior to me. song before prayer will be number 34. I want to ask you to stand for this and remain standing for the prayer. Number 34.
Let us pray. God, we thank you for giving us this time where we can come together and sing these songs of worship and praise to your name. We would ask that as we go through this singing service, you would just be with us. Help us to think about and reflect what we're, on what we're singing. Help us to uh, take the lessons that we find contained within the words of these songs. Help us to use these to uh, better our lives so that we can be stronger examples in the world. Help us to always be patterning our lives after you. Help us to, in every way that we learn more about you, whether it's through lessons or Bible study, through reading, through song, just help us to always be applying these lessons to our lives so that we can be strong examples in the world. Please continue to watch over and guide this congregation here in Dayton. We would just ask that we would be effective in our work to uh, take your message out into the world. Just please give us the... uh, the knowledge, the things to say, just be with us as we carry this out. Be with the church here, be with all the elders, the deacons, and just every single member as we uh, do your work here, and just help us to be impactful on our community. Uh, Help us as we go into this time of uh, Thanksgiving where our country celebrates this holiday. Help us to be a good example and impact on those that we may come into contact with, our friends and family members, those we might not see that often. Just help us to use our opportunities to, uh, to further your work in this world. We ask all these things in your son's name. Amen. Please be seated. Go ahead, come on. Uh, the invitation will be number 889, if you'd like to mark your hymnal, number 889. Sonny asked to do 287, so we'll, we'll do that before my other two, Eric. 287. First and last. Mm-hmm. Each step by faith, my Savior goes before me. Three thirty six. Three thirty six.
644. For all that you've done. <coughs> One hundred and twenty five Amazing Grace. Six hundred and fourteen. Humble yourself.
174. 174. <clears throat> Sixty-three. Sixty-three. We'll sing uh, all four verses.
already only did one, so I'm doing one of his. Okay, 410. First and third verse, number 410. <clears throat> Everybody knows this one. My God. Four thirty eight. More precious than silver. Four thirty eight. We'll sing this through twice. <clears throat> Lord. Number 154, we'll sing all three verses of 154.
249. We'll sing both verses of 249. If you have your Bibles, turn over to Galatians chapter 6, or chapter 5, rather. Talked about uh, some thanksgiving and prayer in our sermon this morning, and so we're going to continue on with that. Uh, the song that was in the second page of the bulletin and, and that I did uh, was one of my favorite songs. Uh, I learned it at camp as a kid, and uh, it, it's a good song to remind you to thank God for all that He's done, uh, for all that He's promised to do. Uh, we thank Him. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving coming up is uh, one of my favorite times of year. You eat yourself sick, and it, Thanksgiving food is the best food. I don't know if you've noticed that, but mashed potatoes, and you know, that, that's the best food. Uh, so I, I love uh, the holidays, and I'm sure many of you do too. Uh, and when we talk about the holidays, we often focus a lot on family, and that's good. And we often focus a lot on the many material blessings that God's given us, and, and those are good things. Uh, let me encourage you as we go through the holiday season this year to uh, thank God for those things, but also thank Him for the spiritual things that He's given us as well. Look at Galatians chapter 5, look at verse 1. Uh, this is just a reminder of, of what God has done. Uh, For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. Uh, and then skip down just a little bit. Uh, look at verse 13. For you were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if, any, uh, but if you bite and devour one another, watch out that you are not consumed by one another. And so what Paul is saying here, you know, he says, Christ has set you free. Uh, there's spiritual freedom in Christ. Uh, you know, God has given to us uh, the opportunity to, to be freed from the sins that we sold ourselves into. And, and along with freedom comes the decision and the the necessity to make choices for yourself. And so he says, don't go back into the sin that you once sold yourself into. Don't, don't go back into sin. Rather, you know, treat others well. You know, use that freedom that you've been given to serve others. Don't bite, devour each other. If you do that, you'll all be eaten up and there'll be uh, no, no good remaining. Rather, love your neighbor as yourself. 
And so as we go through this season, remember the spiritual blessings that God's given you. He's given you redemption. He's redeemed you from your sins. He's given you a home. He's made you his heirs. He's made you, you know, his children. Uh, we're brothers and sisters. He's given us the church. He's done so much spiritually. Uh, let's use that freedom that he's given us and serve one another. Uh, if you need to put on Christ, uh, let me encourage you to do so. Uh, if you have not been who you need to be, let me encourage you to uh, seek the prayers of the church and uh, God will forgive. Uh, if we can do anything for you, come forward as we stand and sing. the opportunity this morning to partake of the Lord's Supper, if you'll raise your hand, we will do that. We have one. Did you happen to pick up an emblem? You got one? Excellent. Okay. So as we turn our minds back to the cross, let's sing number 359. Number 359.
Will you join me in prayer? Dear Father in heaven, as we partake of this bread that represents the body of your Son, please let us look back on the cross and do so solemnly with love in our heart for all that your Son has done for us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Let us continue in prayer. Your fathers, we partake of the fruit of the vine, which represents the precious blood of Christ. Let us remember that this is how we have been forgiven of our sins, a great love for God and flesh, dying on a cross for us. It's in his name we pray, amen. You join me in our closing hymn? You have an announcement? 650. 650. Did you hear that, Eric? 650? We'll see if we... Okay. How many of us know this song? Good. How do you explain, how do you describe, the love that goes from east to west, when Christ is the distant side, you know our hopes, or you know our fears, and words cannot express. stand for his closing prayer. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, this has been a beautiful and blessed day that we've had to come together to worship and study a lesson from your holy and divine word. We thank you, lesson, Savior, for the lesson that Matthew presented to us this morning on prayer and the prayer, Heavenly Father, and thank you for the avenue we have to come come to you and ask for our blessings and the comforts and things that we need. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the church. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you always continue to bless it 
Help us to continue to grow. In the prayer of Heavenly Father, if we go out this week, that we'll go out and live our lives like Christians we are and help someone and do, do the things that we should do. In Jesus' name, amen.